My name is John Walter and I'm a family Doberman specialist. And if you don't know me, I run DobermanPlanet.com and this YouTube channel. And today, I wanna to answer one incredibly important question. And that is, what makes a Doberman a Doberman? What makes a Doberman a Doberman? Well, we know already that they're definitely an impressive dog breed. I mean, they're large, they're powerful, they're fast, and they're strong. They're 24 to 20 inches high to their shoulders. They weigh between 60 to 100 pounds. They're muscular and very lean, and a sleek, dark body. They can jump over six feet high, run 35 miles per hour, and you can protect your family from just about anything the world can throw at you. But that's not really what makes a Doberman a Doberman. What about its genetics? Well, we don't exactly know which breeds were used to create the Doberman because the breed's creator, Carl Frederick Lewis Doberman, he didn't keep exact records of the breeds that he used to make the Doberman. But experts believe that the modern Doberman was created by crossbreeding a few main breeds, including the German Shepherd, the Rottweiler, the Blue Great Dane, and the German Pinscher, the Greyhound, the Weimaraner, the Buceron, the Black and Tan Terrier, which is now extinct, the Manchester Terrier, and the Short-Haired Shepherd. Now, that's a lot of different dogs, but that also isn't really what makes a Doberman a Doberman, is it? What about the type of the Doberman? Well, there are definitely a few out there, each of it's with its own characteristics and behavioral differences, such as the European Dobermans, the American Dobermans, there's also show Dobermans and working Dobermans, and so many other subtle little varieties. But the sub-variety of a Doberman you select, that's also not what makes a Doberman a Doberman. So, well, okay, what about color? Well, I mean, you do have a lot of colors to pick from with the Doberman. I mean, there's the black and rust, the most common color of Doberman you'll see, the red and rust, the blue and rust, the fawn and rust, the white Doberman, the all black Doberman, also called melanistic black, and there are even some other rare solid color Dobermans as well, but still, color doesn't make a Doberman a Doberman. Okay, but hold on, none of these things matter. This isn't what makes a Doberman a Doberman. So what makes them just so different from other dogs other than just a name? Well, it's not physical by any means. The real difference with these dogs is behavioral. It's how they act. You see, all Dobermans are gonna have a few really key behaviors or kind of ways of interacting with the world in general that are just common between them, but that are actually really very specific and unique just to the Doberman breed. For example, their protection instincts. Now, a lot of dog breeds have protection instincts, of course, but only one breed of dog was created for that exact purpose. All the other protection breeds you might think of, Rottweilers, German Shepherds, Belgian Malinois, Pitbulls, those were all created either for herding animals or for hunting animals. Yep, only the Doberman was created for our personal protection as humans specifically, and that's why they have protection instincts that far surpass other breeds and is very specific to protecting their human owners, not livestock like with other breeds. They do things naturally, seemingly completely on their own, like sleep facing the door to your room and stick closer to your side in a crowd or run the perimeter of your yard on a seemingly routine basis. They'll check in with you in a new situation continuously, seeing how you react to whatever is going on. And if you show fear, they turn their attention to whatever is in the environment that you're fearful of and start getting very protective. And when they bite, they'll bite repeatedly, many times over a really large area, causing a lot of damage, unless, of course, they were trained to bite and hold, but more on training these dogs in a minute. They're also physically perfect for this role. They're large, but not too large to not be agile enough, and pursue and take down a human not too big or too small. They're just the right size. They have one of the strongest dog bites and their teeth come down in a precise scissor-like manner. They're fast, they're strong, and they can jump like you wouldn't believe. All this is actually amazingly wrapped up into one loving and very loyal dog to its owners. Speaking of which, their loyalty. This is another aspect that makes up a Doberman, and this sets them apart from other breeds too, believe it or not. And not because other dogs don't have it, but because Dobermans have it in levels far surpassing 
almost all other breeds. Dobermans are consistently considered one of the most loyal dog breeds in the world, so much so actually that it is actually proven to be kind of a downside for this breed in wartime in the past. Dobermans were actually used extensively as police dogs and in the military for quite a while. They even played a large role in the Battle of Guam during World War II, but soon Dobermans were phased out of law enforcement in military use. Why? Not because they weren't excellent at the job, they were, but because they were so loyal to their handlers that if their handler died or retired or simply moved on to another role, the dog had real problems adjusting to a new handler. So actually their loyalty was so far ahead of what the military or law enforcement needed or was used to, it was in fact just too much and it became a downside in these roles. But the beauty here is in a family environment where you'll have your dog for life, trust me, this insane level of loyalty becomes an amazing asset that you just won't get from any other breed. Focus, that's also what makes a Doberman Doberman, not just by how they focus on the, what they're trying to accomplish or tasks they're trying to complete, but they have extreme levels of focus on their owners too. So it's not just that they have lots of it because plenty of other breeds do, you know that, but the Doberman is set apart for what they use their focus on. They'll focus on their owners to such an extreme level that they'll almost seem to mirror your emotions or perform some commands without you even asking. And as yet another quality helpful for their protection roles, they will posture up and protect you if they just sense the fear for coming from you in a given situation. All that and they'll equally sense when you're relaxed and playful and they'll just go crazy and have a blast with you and your family also. Their focus is just amazingly useful and it's just lots of fun for us owners too. Drive and determination, that's another amazing quality that sets these dogs apart. Again, not because other dog breeds don't have it, but that the Doberman was a working dog from the beginning and was bred with instincts to never give up. If your Doberman is focused on something or determined to accomplish a task, such as their desire to always be by your side, for example, they won't fail that mission, trust me. This also makes them great outdoor companions, and if you have a family who loves hiking, camping, sports, or really anything active, they'll be able to keep up with even the most energetic members of your family just all day long. The intelligence and trainability of these dogs are also incredible and sets them apart. In fact, professor of canine psychology, Dr. Stanley Korn, actually did research on this and ended up writing a book called The Intelligence of Dogs about his findings of dog intelligence and trainability. And during his research, he determined that the Doberman was the fifth smartest dog breed in the world and among the most elite breeds in terms of their trainability. How trainable? Well, Dr. Korn actually quantified their trainability with real hard numbers. He said the Doberman is among the few breeds who can, get this, actually understand new commands in fewer than five repetitions and obey the first command given to them 95% of the time or better. Now combine that with a dog who's hyper-focused on its owner and family, and that's why they're one of the most elite dog breeds in the world. Dobermans really are one of a kind, and in my opinion, they make just about the best family dog you can possibly own. If you wanna learn more about these dogs, the first thing you should do is hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it, and check out the other videos on this channel, because we have over 200 videos now where you'll learn just so much about this amazingly unique breed of dog. Just click that little Doberman head over that globe down below this video, and you'll see all of our videos laid out there. In fact, why not start with this one right here? That video, is, frankly, is just a great place to start if you're new to the Doberman breed. And in that video, you'll see a really cool side of this dog you might not have expected that just makes them so much fun. Remember, be a great Doberman breed ambassador and let people all over the place know how amazing this dog breed is. In fact, why not send them this video?